Hello all, my name is Kayomars. In this tutorial, we'll model a wall decor in 3ds Max. So let's get started. So very first of all, let's take a reference of a wall decor. Go into rendering, view image file. And let's take this uh, reference. So now over here, very first of all, let's take a plane and go into the top view and we'll model a basic box in a form of a wall. So you can either take a wall from AEC extended that is over here, either you can take this wall or you can take a box. So as you can see the shape. For creating the shape, we'll take a line tool. So let's take a line tool. Take a line tool over here. So we are creating it with a line tool. And we are going to end it over here. So let's go into the vertices of it and you can shift a bit up. Select this, shift like this a bit, you can shift this up. Select this top two vertices over here and you have an option over here called fillet. So let's give a fillet over here. 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 So you can apply or you can add a fillet wherever it is necessary. So after creating this 2D shape, we can go into this rendering enable in viewport. So you can use this enable in viewport, enable in renderer and take it as a rectangle. So as you can see, as you have created this, it has come in the form of this particular shape. So let's put this shape over here and this form. So if you require to increase its height, you can increase its height. Still you have, you can select the vertices and you can shift this up. Can select this you can shift this up like this so as you can see over here this shape converted into editable poly select this both the shapes and give it a color to it. so you can go into this top view and if you want to add some books over here we can add some books over here like this so you can add some books. If you like to add some books, you can add some books like this. You can add. So you can make it a bit more thinner. Just go into it and very first of all, right click convert to editable poly and just duplicate it and increase the number of copies so as many copies you want you can take it you can push this down so you can take any of the references over here and you can adjust it So you can shift it like this. Oh, okay. You can keep it one side. You can make it look more bigger. So you can just make a copy. I click OK. Now, as you can see over here, 
uh, will add can select this let's add a loop over here go into this option that is a swift loop let's add a loop over here so we need to shift few vertices inside so need to add a loop over here and here take this take this in so you can take this inside or you can take this whole patch inside over here like this so if you want to give it a look like this you can give it a look like this so now you have again you can take a line and you can make a stand over here like this for the desktop for the sorry the, for the monitor or you can say LED you can take a line again uh, select the vertices and give the fillet over here ok you can give a bit not much so undo it and give a bit of fillet to it and you can push this over here like this so even you can resize it so if you think it's too big you can resize it so you can go into this front view and you can take a box you can take a box over here so increase it convert to editable poly so let's put a loop over here to select the vertices and give a inset option over here so you can add some inset over here and also a bit of bevel so you can add a bit of bevel to it just say ok so right click and isolate this object let's scale it so let's scale this both the elements shift this over here and you can rotate a bit over here ok so you can scale a bit you can reduce this size from here you can reduce the size from there so you can just give a color from here that's it so let's save this file wall underscore uh, so wall deco underscore one so thanks for watching this tutorial we'll continue in the next part